Hey, what's up, guys? It is King Sock here. I'm. This is my second try recording, and because I just realized that it's apparently already Mogloween. Um, there's the decorations thing, but unfortunately, the quests haven't come in yet. So uh, I think what I'm gonna do is uh, let's let's retake the new tutorial. Let's, let's do it. Adventure quest. Welcome to the ever-expanding world of lore. Fast power and riches await those brave enough to challenge her lands. Begin your adventure as a mighty warrior, a mystical mage, or a dexterous rogue. Alright, continue. I guess I don't get to change my name through this, do I? Uh, I don't know. But greetings and salutations, King of Spock. Not, not that I would change it anyway, though, but... Welcome to the town of Babylon, home to the Guardian Tower. I'm Artix Grieger, resident paladin and your host for this tutorial. All right, Arctix. Great forces, both good and evil, and everything in between, are gathering strength across lands. New quests and wars happen weekly, so there is always something fun to explore. Uh, ooh, there's—I never noticed that uh, little forest thing over there. Is that Green Guard? I'm not sure. But first, let's let us take a quick tour of our town. The little red fellow on the left is Twilly. Twilly is a Moglin. They are a peaceful race, and most Moglins practice nature magic and healing. Oh, hey, Twilly. Twilly has many quests for you to complete, and will share with you any rumors he has heard. Moglins just love to gossip. See, now they actually talk about, like, the gossip thing, which I had to find out. I don't even know how I found it out. Like, I don't know. I think I took a really long time to find out that Twilly could actually talk, but just say hello, and he gets quite talkative. Uh, all right. Now let me show you the buildings in town. Uh, this is Yolger's Inn, a great spot to rest your weary bones after a long day of adventuring. Yolger is also the town's blacksmith and sells all types of equipment. He sells general use armor and shields, as well as melee weapons such as swords, daggers, and axes. Alright! There are many rooms to explore in the inn, which with many quests available, see, now they're explaining it. Uh, anyway, do not forget to check upstairs and say hello! To Blackhawk. He is a fighter class trait. Oh my god, he's te they're telling us where to train classes now. Actually, I think they trained, they told us before. I'm not sure actually. I don't remember knowing, but it's probably because I didn't read. But for the longest time, I didn't know Blackhawk uh, was upstairs in and was a fighter trainer. But anyway, I do not want to get too far ahead of myself. We will go over the classes of AQ a little later. Next, we'll head over to the patch up. Although, with this good introduction, does that mean my videos will get less popular? Because my intro, my beginning videos, were pretty much me introducing AQ for you, uh, for you guys. But I don't know. Oh well. This is Arya's pet shop. Here, young Arya keeps animals of all kinds: some natural, some mystical, and some just plain weird. Eh. Our, um, Arya's pet shop is actually really. It's actually not that small when you think about it. It's actually two stories. I never knew that the garden tower was that tall because everything else looked tiny in comparison. But like, now that you look at it, they're actually two stories. So, damn. But anyway, um, pets are loyal companions that will aid you in battle. You should always make certain to keep one by your side. But yeah, guys, I'm like noticing things in this new tutorial that I didn't notice before. And oh, never mind. These are not conjoined buildings. Okay, so Warwick's shop isn't actually that big. Um, uh, it's like okay size, but there's there's actually another house there which doesn't have a purpose yet, I don't think. But right next door is Warlick's magic shop. Warlick's a powerful archmage who can help you train as a wizard or mage. He also sells useful spells and magic weaponry. And yeah, but uh, you know, this house it could turn out to be useful one day because I remember back in the day there was no Robina uh, house. Um, building thing. So, you know, maybe someday this house over here will get its use. Examples are staves, salves, scepters, maces, and wands. Every magic user should make sure to have spells and use magic weapons once their MP runs out. Mix the right combination of ingredients and warlock's cauldron. Oh, they're telling us all these tidbits of info. Too much info, man. Gotta go to my videos. But oh well. Uh, you might find the powerful spell scrolls. Spell scrolls. Oh shoot. What is that? Spell scrolls. Is that like a spell scroll quest that I just did recently ish? Or I guess two months ago now? Oh. Anyway, careful though. Oftentimes, 
explosions can be heard coming from Warlock's shop. All right, here we have Robina, the Hood's range shop. There we go, that's a new thing. Robina is unrivaled with, is unrivaled with a bow, and she is the rogue class trainer. Is she now? Isn't it? Then we go to Valencia, or like Robina refers us to Valencia. I'm pretty sure that's what happens. Uh, but oh well, if you prefer to keep some distance between you and your enemy, then this is the place for you. Robina has a vast selection of bows, spears, and more. Our final stop on the town tour is a very important one. We will now visit the Guardian Tower. Alright, this hero is the Guardian Tower. Guardians are the lead protectors of lore with access to special equipment and the ability to take on every quest and area they can find. Inside the Guardian Tower you will find tons of powerful equipment that only Guardians may wield plus the Guardian Arena which I will be destroying quite shortly uh, to test your metal. Alright, uh, what's next? Uh oh, that sound came from the edge of town. I know the sounds of undead movement anywhere. We better go investigate. Oh, undead? Oh, it's not that dinosaur guy anymore. Well, aha, I knew it. A foul death knight approaches. With my help, King's Cock, we will send this bag of bones back to the nether from which it came. But what about the other characters? Ah, oh, I can't select the other characters as my guests anymore. That's pretty not that nice. Um, but first, I'll explain the basics of combat on lore to you, King's Cock. Alright, when in battle, you can move your mouse over an enemy's portrait to view their stats. Uh, where's the portrait? Um, this shows various attributes, combat defenses, and their... Whoa, and their elemental resistances. My phone just uh, played there. But, um... Alright. Combat defenses are the enemy's base chance to block a melee range, a melee range or magic attack. Wow, it actually explains. Wow, that's damn, dude. This would have been pretty helpful if I actually read it. Uh, probably back in the day, and probably. Oh, god damn it. That recurring theme here is just so much better that my tutorials or my not really tutorials, my videos just become like kind of useless now. But oh well. Uh, maybe people will watch this video because they're too bothered to can't be bothered to read in the actual game itself. But anyway, 25 melee defense means a 25% base chance to block a melee attack. And resistances are how much damage a creature takes from a particular element. 100% means normal damage, 200% means double damage, and 50% means half damage. Alright. Creatures can also have negative resistances. Plus, 100% resistance to an element means it will heal that creature. Plus, negative 100% resistance to an element means it will heal that creature instead. You should probably fix that negative to make it in front of the 100, because otherwise it becomes like fuzz and then dash. 100% but out well. This Death Knight attacks with darkness and is weak to light. So, equipping an armor and shield that resists darkness and inflicts, and a weapon that inflicts light damage is useful. Alright. Once you have a greater variety of equipment, you should make sure to ra to change the most effective weapon and armor for the for the encounter. It generally does not cost a turn to change your equipment, so you have no reason not to change into the best equipment possible. Check the ready inventory before battle box in the options to gain the ability to change equipment before the battle actually before a battle actually starts. Wow, these tips tips galore but um yeah if you guys don't know you know options more and then uh, ready in for battle but i don't know i don't need that uh this that is all for the combat tutorial best way to learn is to do so let us take down this vile abomination fight oh that was the kinesthetic uh theory of teaching people or the kinesthetic learner i guess but you know what guys this guy's uh, strong against darkness but you know what i don't give a hoot let us kill him with the darkness attack, boom, shakalaka lang dang dang, GG death knight, hmm, the undead do not usually appear this close to the hills of battle, something must be driving or leading them this way, ooh, it's an actual quest, oh my god, straga, or draka, 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 um, right, I remember this guy, you know, I beat him when I was all 50, when he was like level 100 or some, some crap like that, farmed a crap ton of XP, back in the day it was really easy to grind, but, um, oh well, Dracath, he's an incredibly powerful Dracolic. This is a powerful flow, powerful flow, King's Cock, but I know we can defeat it to get, and he kills me, 
King's Cock, no! Undead monstrosity, I shall send you back to the grave and avenge King's Cock. What the doozles did I just lose? Oh, uh, to show us death. Oh, so guys, this is death, the boatman. The boatman. My, my, my. So you can't actually avoid death anymore. You have to go to death, like, on the first day. Wow, that's brutal. But my, my, my. What have we here? Have a little accident, did we? Welcome to my realm, unfortunate one. I am a servant of death, harvest our souls. Fear not, even in death there is much adventure to be had. In my realm you can find ways to change your name. Or untrained stats you wish to move elsewhere. Oh gee, wow. So much information. Maybe too much information actually, but uh... You may also journey through my realm to collect hourglasses and can get a reward if you bring me enough. I've actually never done that before, collect hourglasses and bring them back to Bodeman, because I've always just like gone to death with a with a, like either with a vengeance or with um with an objective. Like I actually want to untrain or something like that. But anyway, I sense that you have a greater destiny, so I will not keep you in my realm. You are chosen to do great things. However, you will owe me a favor for this. Agreed. Agreed. All right. Thank you, Death. King Skok, I knew you would not be defeated so easily. I can hold this beast at bay myself, by myself, but I cannot defeat it without your aid. Oh, actually? Wow, okay. For a powerful foe like this, for a foe this powerful, you should get appropriate equipment. I have some spare light, bright weapons. Tell me which one you want, and we can destroy... We can fight together to destroy this monster. Oh, which type of weapon would you like? Pick a weapon. Oh my god, this is like the only time you can get stuff for free. Yeah, dude, zero gold. Oh my days, that's amazing. Uh, but I'm not gonna get any of that. I'm gonna just continue. Well chosen, King Scott. I didn't even choose any. Now we shall defeat Dracut together. Alright. Oh, Dracut, level 1 in Arctic can't beat him. Are you Sirs? Right. Oh, okay, I can't beat him with Darkness Weapon. Unfortunately. Actually, I think I'm going to just let my pet defeat him. I'm going to use the Darkness Weapon anyway. This is zero damage. Arctix will hit him a little bit. Takes so much SP. Oh, actually, Arctix one-shots him. All right, then. Um, guess that was that. A mighty Dracolic that is attacking the town of Battleon. Incredibly weak to light attacks. You and Arctix can take defeat this foe together. All right, then. Well fought, King's Cock. I would like to tell you about the classes of AQ. Classes are jobs you select that offer powerful boosts and abilities. You gain access to these class abilities when you equip the appropriate armor. You need to equip rogue leathers to use rogue class skills, for example. A class armor will also become more powerful as you train in that class, so they remain useful for a longer period of time than most equipment. Oh, nice. But uh, they don't last till high levels, unfortunately. Only till about level 90 and then they kind of get useless. Aww. There are various tiers of classes. <clears throat> Uh, except for those status effect classes, like, um, or guest summoning classes, like Beast, Beastmaster, that's sick. But yeah, anyway. Oh, and also the stat reducing, like the Obsidian Cloak, you know, reducing people's stats for days. But anyway, there are various tiers of, of classes. The first you'll find are Warrior, Rogue, Mage, and Scholar. Later classes will require having mastered one or, one or, more, uh, one or more lower level classes. Alright. They're very, uh, okay, more? Uh, in summary, seeking out new classes and training in them can give you incredibly powerful and unique abilities. Uh, not really unique when you get all of the classes, uh, which I think I mostly have. I think I haven't done the Slayer ones yet. Oh well, uh, maybe I'll do that someday in the future, maybe in college or something. But anyway, I want to introduce you to some of the great people you will meet in your travels. So long for now, Kingscock. All right, we're gonna meet some. There it is. We meet these cool peeps. Um, thank you for keeping the Death Knight from making a meal of an unsuspecting town person. Aquila says. <clears throat> you can find most of us here in town, along with lo a lot of our friends. Wow, these are all the updated graphics. Damn, dude. Like me, Procle the Town Crier. I can sell you many titles to show off your accomplishments. Of course, that voice crack was uh, intentional. <clears throat> and I am Valencia, the treasure hunter. I can sell you my Z-token equipment. These items gain a great boost in power compared to normal items. Each Z-token item has an extra zing to it. 
making something special, special, special to make it worse, more than just gold. Uh, I just noticed that I should probably give that accent some flinch. I think it matches her. I like Fiora. Um, about all news, every news, new news is posted every week. You can find and dra you can find me. In you can find me in Dragonstone, outside Battleon, training Dragon Slayers. Every week there is news posted on the tree next to Tully. There you will find your way to the travel map. Alright, travel map. The event button will take you to any big events happening, happening weekly, like wars and new quests. Click on the travel map button to explore the rest of the world outside of Battleon. Alright, here's the map. Changes often, with new areas always being added. You can visit more and more areas as you increase in your experience level, and I think uh, this was a lot more empty back in the day. Uh, and oh my god, I can actually straight click on it. Oh, never mind. And battle monsters. Do this. Uh, do, oh, oh, to experience increase experience levels, of course. <clears throat> do this by completing quests, or you can click the battle monsters button if you are in a hurry. All right, just wanna grind. Uh, unfortunately, Battle Monsters is usually not the best grinding place. <clears throat> the Battle Monsters button is on the lower right of the town screen. It will randomly select the monster for you to engage in combat. You will gain experience to grow your level, plus gold and Z tokens to buy new and stronger equipment with. Uh, I think you probably. I don't think you can end, end senses with a uh, preposition, but whatever. Artix is one more area to explain before we turn you loose. We'll see you soon. Uh, Alright, Artix. Oh, it's the trainer! There we go. The, this is like a comprehensive introduction. Like, holy crap, 17 minutes already. Anyway, one area that will determine your build uh, and abilities as you level up are your stats. The six stats include strength, dexterity, intellect, endurance, charisma, and luck. Strength, of course, is plus melee range weapon damage, plus bonus percent to hit with melee weapons, dexterity range attack damage, bonus percent to hit for all attacks, dodge ability. Intellect, magic attack damage, bonus percent to hit with magic attacks, mana points, MP, endurance, increase your health points, charisma, increases your damage to pet, uh, increases your damage with pet attacks, your dam your pet's damage, um, attack damage, uh, and bonus percent to hit with pet attacks, small bonus percent to hit for all attacks is luck, and dodge build a little bit bonus, plus percent chance of attacking first, in battle, and luck strike damage. <clears throat> Studying the chart on the left will familiarize you with the boost applied from the different stats. Alright, if you ever need help, or ha have questions, or just want to talk about the amazing world of lore, please visit our Battle on forums. Oh my god, it's so comprehensive. Holy crap, this is like the first five or four or five episodes that I made Com just explained here, but uh, oh well. There you will find a huge community of helpful and knowledgeable players. All right, we can visit the Battle on forums, and as you guys know, it is forums to battleon.com slash f slash default. Um, and but yes, more now that you know the basics, you are ready to start your on your quest to unlock the secrets of lore. Pick one of us to help you on your first battles, or go out on your own. Battle on! All right, you know what? Let's 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 go with uh, I don't know a quell or something. Pick someone to de to departure. With, I think is what it said. Anyway, become a guardian on your first day and get a special ferocious pet plus extra gold and Z tokens to get you started. Uh, guardian preview play as a guardian. Yeah. Actually, I should probably click play as an adventurer. But guardians wear the mighty armor of the guardians. Wield the guardian weapon. Summon the ancient guardian dragon. Guardians can hunt down the lost parts and ultimate. Then from the ultimate banner, all only guardians can pull out a special sword, dragon blade, circle forge every your custom weapon. And do the, the horse thing, unlock complete access to every part of the quest, travel fortified castle of Gardenwork, general heroes and emerald knights and other odd characters, shadow lands of Darkovia, blah blah blah, you can, you can Warpire or Dracopire, how's that Gardenwork? But anyway, the coastal found Lostia, it's many adventures for Guardian, and then a half dragon form for Dracomancers, players, Guardian Knights receive bonus gold and fire warp hat and Z tokens and stuff. Enter the Guardian Tower. I think I got the fire were actually back in the but you know there's the armory and then you can find the guardian tower arena which i will do soon and uh adventure quest i'm gonna continue to play for free
All right. And this is back to the tutorial. What? Okay, well, I guess that's the end of the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This is just me going through the tutorial. Basically, you can do it yourself probably, but you know, if you like my voice, because it's beautiful, obviously. Um, yeah, do the tutorial. Uh, uh, or, I mean, watch my video and then not do the tutorial. But anyway, again, uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I think that is it for today. And a cola isn't beside me. Ah, oh, damn it, Artex, you reset it. Oh well, wait, what? I can't flee it? Wow, well, that's a bug. Well, anyway, I'm gonna just refresh and end it here, but yeah. Bye, guys.